Hello and welcome to another Blender tutorial. Today I'm going to teach you how to track blur onto faces so you can't see the faces anymore. So with Blender 2.8 token, but this can work in any Blender 2.8, Blender 2.9 or any other version uh, that has uh, the video tracker. So you input your footage you see here, make sure you set the scene frames and you prefetch it so the clip will play flu fluently the first time when you try to edit or manipulate the clip. As you can see, now it plays nice and fluently. Now what we want to do is to track a blur onto the boy's face to mask it out, to dissimulate it. So on the tracker tab we change the following settings and you press add tracker. So it's going to track the location, the scale and the rotation and we place it on his eye. And now you see on the uh, track window you can see a preview of a more detailed track. And now you just press track forward and it tracks pretty well. But here the quality is pretty bad, so you need to do quite a bit of manual tracking. Roughly every time it just goes off, just put it back on the eye. Every time it gets lost. And it's uh, nothing complicated, just repeat this process all the way through. Hopefully you'll have a better track and you wouldn't need to do this, but in my case, I've gone on a bad video. <laughs> uh, you can uh, look in the, um, the preview window and make sure when you play the clip, it's always has the eye in the center of the preview window. Now I have to create a mask to um, blur out uh, this boy's face. So you go to the add and add a circle and it appears in the bottom left. You just press G and move it uh, with the mouse. And we start at the beginning on frame 1 and we place it with G on top of his face, trying to center it. Then you can use the, um, the center of these knobs thingies, the handles, to bend it, and the center to move the whole thing around, like that. So we just want to center it around his face, and then again, it doesn't need to be perfect because we're blurring out his face, not cutting him out or anything, it's just going to be a big blurred patch. And then we select them all, and shift select the tracker, press control, P, and then we press play. Yes, the mass follows, except there's some scaling issues here because it's, it's the same scale, it doesn't keep the scale, so you need to manually adjust the scale. Press Alt S to make a feather, so it makes gradients, so it's not a rough, um, um, so it's not such a rough uh, blur, it's more faded. Now we're just going to turn on automatic keyframing down below and just select, go through every 10 frames and adjust the, the mask. Just keep going every 10 frames just to adjust the mask because it's all detract on, so you just need to worry about the scale, make sure it wraps around his face. So, now that we've got a mask and a tracker, let's go over to the compositing or create a new tab, go to general and compositing, but I've already got one open. So, I just click use nodes. We can even delete the renders layers because we're not using 3D objects keep the compositor because it's like the render, it's uh, the output node. And then we get a movie clip and we can select our already loaded in movie clip on the drop down there. And make sure backdrop is enabled and either search for viewer node which will allow us to view our, our work in the background, see what we're doing, or just press shift, control and click on the movie on the movie clip and it'll bring out a viewer node so we can see what we're doing. If you go to view and fit, we can zoom in, zoom out, offset it on the sides, we can completely move it around for those that didn't know how to do it. And now let's get into it. First of all, we're going to need an alpha over, which is essentially just a merge node. It's going to allow us to merge multiple layers together. Now we need a mask for the mask that we created. Right now we can go and select and drop down our mask and plug it into the factor. Now right now his face is gone. As you can see it's they're, they're on separate layers. And the colour that is underneath it is white. So we're gonna duplicate duplicate with the um, movie clip with Shift D and plug it into the bottom. So now the image is completely back. So 
so this is basically done. All we need to do now is add one last node called the blur node. We've got multiple blurs in Blender, but let's just get the normal one. Now we need to input an X and Y value. I like to go with something like 20. And now his face is blurred. And that's all you have to do. Just remember to plug the image from the alpha over into the composite to open it won't render out. And since we're working with videos with predefined resolution, you can set number samples to 1, leave the rest to set the they are, just change it to a uh, video file format. Select an output file folder. Now just go to the render tab and press render animation or control F12. Now in the near future I want to be talking about mosaics uh, for pixelation and also tracking some things like emojis onto faces and then I even want to go even further with adding 3D objects, so stay tuned for that, because I'm going to gradually tell you how to 